Virginia at work at 742. It is the heart of the summer vacation season already. A lot of us looking forward to a little bit of time off. Hopefully, <laughs> others will not take time off this summer and maybe not even at all this year. It is almost like some people are addicted to work. Here to talk with us about all of this, Linda McNutt Foster, CEO of Cortex Leadership Consulting, and Dr. Jennifer Walker, the owner of Balance Wall Space. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Thanks Thank for you. having Thank us. You. It's an interesting topic I think a lot of people have talked about trying to make their vacation plans. Is it true some people really don't take time to vacation at all? I, I know it sounds ludicrous. Um, but most of the people that um, I coach and train are ambitious, hardworking people. In fact, most of Americans. Um, that is our culture. We work hard and we have for generations. And so it's hard to believe, but most people leave three to four days a year um, PTO, which is paid time off on the on the calendar that they don't take that they don't yeah. take yeah and you don't get paid uh, for it either usually you don't get paid they they leave it and there's lots of reasons why they don't I mean they don't want to come back to a mountain of emails they um, leaders don't take time off because they are afraid that there's people that need them back at work and they want to make sure that they're available for that Jennifer what type at, at your business what are the effects for folks who don't take time off. I mean, it's not just a work thing. It's got to be good for your well-being to take a few days oh, off. It's definitely important to shut down. And I think, honestly, most of the people that tend to not take vacation are the people that need the vacation the most. They tend to have high levels of stress, and with high levels of stress, stress comes things like um, illness, you know, issues with their back and their necks, but also even issues with their brain function. So a lot of common symptoms that we see are things like mental fogginess, even things with memory issues, and of course, heightened anxiety. Are you yourself able to take time off every you know, vacation? You know what, I, I, I joked with Linda earlier, the last time I did not take a vacation, I ended up selling my business. So I prioritize that. And actually the name of my practice is Balance for a reason, because I always wanted to remember to maintain that balance with my own personal life. What is your recommendation, especially for folks who may have a few days off, but they can't really afford a vacation or they got family members they gotta take care of. Your advice to them is still to to take shut, a break. Yeah, shut down. You can take as simple as taking 10 minutes to yourself to just have quiet time or meditation. You can spoil yourself with an hour massage. You know, they say that the, the effects of an hour massage are similar to a vacation, so I highly recommend that. But even we're really blessed that we're in an area that has a lot of recreational activity. So getting outside, taking some fresh air, um, hiking, even taking a simple lunch um, on the Blue Ridge Parkway. We're really lucky where we are. Linda, let me ask you this. I, along with a lot of people, sometimes you almost feel guilt or stress when you leave. How do you fix this? How do you, how do you take a good vacation so you're able to break away and take a break? I think the one thing I would say is to leaders, you, you really need to watch your employees that are working for you. The most ambitious ones are the ones that aren't going to take time off. So my, my thought is look at your culture and see if you're rewarding people who are rested, who really take care of themselves, and then are able to focus when they're working. But it starts with the culture. And then I would say for individuals, you need to start with the end in mind. So look at your calendar for the next 12 months and go ahead and book that time off. So, because so many times we say, oh, when things slow down, I'm going to, then I'm going to take time off. You and can't do that. It never slows down. It yeah. never <laughs> slows down. So you've got to go ahead and mark it off, make those plane reservations, get everybody involved in knowing that this is the time that you're going to block off. And you know what? Turn off the electronics. Buy your own little camera. Stop. <laughs> Stop with the, you know, having to take a picture and then you don't have to post it right phone. away. No, you yeah. don't have to post it right away. <laughs> That's right. Good advice. Thank you both so much for coming Thank in. You. you heard it here first. Book the vacation. Don't feel guilty about it. Absolutely. And post the pictures when you get home. Yes. We can so, wait. Yes. <laughs> Stick with us. We'll be right back in two minutes. Let's take it.